Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Um, funeral. Now we were talking a little bit about this um, earlier. So we're assuming the person has died, and you don't have a set of previous instructions because we've already talked about the fact that someone could come in with instructions right. okay. saying what to do. So can you just kind of talk about what the issues are that the family would need to be? facing at that time regarding what to do with the remains? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty simple. Um, you, you contact the funeral home, um, tell them that your loved one has died, and indicate um, perhaps what your desire is for the remains. Um, and usually at that point, we would set up time to come in and sit down, um, answer all the questions, and basically just make the funeral arrangements. And so typically, will all of the family members come in? or Typically, no, um, although that does happen. Um, oftentimes, it's a spouse or children. Um, sometimes it's a brother, um, sister. Um, but generally, it's family um, that come in and make the arrangements. Uh, it's very rare that, um, well, I wouldn't say rare, but you know, maybe 5% of the time a friend comes in, yeah. maybe even less than that, and makes the arrangements. Um, and that's where, uh, you know, if it is cremation, that's where it gets uh, a little critical with the will because um, a friend just can't sign off on cremation. There are ways of going about it. Um, they have to sign a non-related authorization, and they're basically signing that they've heard their friend state numerous times that they want to be cremated. Um, so in that way, that, that can happen. Um, so. But, so let's talk about cremation because that comes up a lot, right? So, so how does that work? I, I went, as far as the law is concerned, I'll just mention a couple of things. You can, all, you can be cremated. Uh, you can be cremated as a result of you know, some kind of written instruction. Or Bill was talking about the fact that you could be cremated anyway, you know, if the, if the family said that was appropriate. Um, the only issues are that you cannot be cremated within, 20, within 48 hours of the day that you die, of the time that you die and that a medical examiner has to see your body and certify that nothing funny seems funny about the death, right, in order for you to be cremated. Because once you've been cremated, it's kind of you can't unring that bell. So if there are issues about possible foul play or any of those issues, then the, then, then the medical examiner can simply say, no, you can't be cremated until these issues have been resolved. Um, so can you just kind of talk about cremation then as a process? Is that often done? How does that connect into the services? I know in some, some of these cases we've had conversations about, well, is this really allowed as a religious matter? Can we just talk about cremation? Sure. Um, well, cre for starters, cremation is simply a method of disposition, um, cremation or burial. Um, with cremation, you can go about it multiple ways. Um, the person can have full funeral services, a wake with the body, uh, a church service or a funeral home service or some other service with the body. Then the body's cremated, and then the cremated remains can either be returned to the family or there can be a burial at a gravesite, um, something along those lines, or just simply returned um, to the family's house. Um, By the way, they're called cremains. I always thought of them as ashes, but apparently it's ashes and yeah, small pieces of bone and things. Remains. Cremated remains. Cremated mm -hmm. remains. The question is, do all people who will want to be yeah. cremated need to have, the, in this case, the medical examiner see them? And the answer I is... Can, I can speak to that. Yes. So it's... No. The, the state, Massachusetts has a state law basically saying that anyone in Massachusetts who is going to be cremated must be viewed and signed off by the, by the medical examiner. The process is fairly simple. Um, within that 48 hours, um, the medical examiner will review all the paperwork of the person who's being cremated, and then they will physically look at the body. That happens sometimes at the funeral home, sometimes it happens at the crematory. Um, it's 
It's pretty routine, but it does happen for every body that's cremated in mass. Mm -hmm. So if a person is saying that they want it, if, if, if there has been a decision to have cremation, you're saying you can have all of the other services ahead of time, or you can or have... Or you can be cremated first. Yeah. And again, you know, depending on what the family would like to do, um, simply hand the cremated remains over to the family. Um, have a funeral home service, church service, uh, graveside service. Um, cremated remains can be divided and given to all the family members. Um, over my years, I've seen just numerous different, I'm, I'm, I see different things all the time. So uh, with cremation, there's a, there's a lot of flexibility as far as services. And we're going to talk about some of those issues, uh, specifically if you're using, putting the cremains in the grave a little bit later on. Um, but, but so physics, as a practical matter, if you're getting cremated, where does the body go? Is there, where, where does it go to a crematorium? Yes. Is there one, obviously there's none here. Is, is, where, where would people go who were being okay. cremated through, through your folks? They would go to Duxbury Crematory, which is a town-owned um, crematory in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Um, we've been going to them for 30 plus years. It's town-owned? Yes. The, it's the, the was it part of the cemetery? It's part, part of, the, of the cemetery. I see. So, but it's the, it's the town of Duxbury. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, where the cremator, that's where the body would go to get cremated. There are several other crematories in the, in the state, um, but that's the one that we go to. I see. Um, and, and, and can you, and, 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 and when you were talking about the kind of the disposition of the ashes. So the ashes come back and there is no control on or limitation on the, your ability to just give somebody the ashes. There's no special well, controls we about do, it. Um, we, depending on what, if, if we are to hand the cremated remains over to the family, so during the arrangements, we have uh, the next of kin sign off as to who is to take receipt of the cremated remains. 99% um, of the time is the person making the arrangements, but sometimes that person may be going out of town or they want a neighbor to come over. So we want to know who that person is and they jot down the, those people and sign off on that so that when they come back in a week or a month yeah. or next spring, um, we know who to give the cremated remains to. And have you ever had a case where nobody picked up the remains? Absolutely. You have. There is, a, there is one interesting piece of statute related to that and that is if you are a funeral home and no one has picked up the remains of someone after a year, the statute says that those remains can then be spread in an appropriate place designated by the, commission, the cemetery commissioners. Now, I know in our area, um, in, in, the, in Central Mass, there were several cemetery commissioners that have never done that. They've never designated the area. And so one of the issues is that the remains start accumulating, you know, is it, it, is it, so it, is there a place where you would regularly dis disperse cre the cremains if they have not been picked up after a while? Yeah, um, we know that we can do that, but we have space in our funeral homes and we just simply hold on to them. Um, we have some cremated remains from the 1950s. From the 1950s? Mm -hmm. It's going to have to, get, have to be a pretty big funeral home after yeah, a while. Yeah, uh, we're have, not talking. Right, right. <laughs> scores of right. cremated remains, but right. you know the occasion that someone didn't pick them up and there's no one to contact. You know we that's we just haven't scattered haven't scattered scattered remains without you know talking to families. But, but they have the power to do that. Yes, ma'am. Can you put cremains in the mail? Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. But not FedEx and not UPS. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> 